Uh, hi, this is Glenn Doreen from Popular Mechanics. We're at CES 2013, and uh, we're talking with Charlie Brinson. That's right, Charlie. Yeah. Uh, from the a nonprofit known as ETART, which is Energy Awareness Through Art, and they have these two monster. Uh, are, are they mechas? Are they robots? Are they? They're not really autonomous, are they? What? How, what, how do you classify them? Uh, we kind of like to call them engineered art projects. So they're like big mechanical creatures that kind of are a nice blend between engineering and art. And uh, ETART, it's, uh, so its, its mission is obviously energy awareness, as the name implies, but uh, why, why the creatures? What is that, uh, what, why do these uh, to promote energy awareness? How does that, uh, what's, the, what's the mission behind the each creature? Well, we just, we found that uh, it's a nice blend. If you uh, blend together kind of the engineering aspect and the art aspect, it, it gives us a bit of a niche where um, we bring something new to kind of technical displays like this at CES. We can show people something that's a little more um, artistic and, and yeah, it's something that people haven't seen before and gets people excited about technology and uh, maybe we can generate some discussions about the battery electric systems that power the machines and uh, and are they all battery hydraulic? Is that the, is that how it's operated? These two machines are, yeah. They're both uh, powered by lithium batteries, and they're both hydraulic. Yeah. Cool. And uh, let's just quickly uh, show which ones you have here. You have uh, my understanding is this is the Titano Boa. How does that? What, what does it do, and how does it work? This is Titano Boa. Yeah, it's a uh, forty foot long electromechanical snake. It's got forty different hydraulic cylinders that are the muscles that provide the propulsion for the snake. And it's actually modeled after an ancient dinosaur snake that died off 60 million years ago. They found fossils for this thing, and it used to be 50 feet long. And we've kind of recreated it because the theory is that it died off due to climate cooling. And now that the climate's warming back up, we're bringing this thing back to life. Ah, oh, so, you know, we actually could one day, because of our own uh, uh, neglect of the planet, be eaten by huge giant snakes. It's possible, yeah. That's, that's I, what about the spider? Did we have huge spiders in the past too? Uh, I don't think so, not this big. But the, uh, the mono spider was created in 2006, before eDart was even founded, and the group that created it, um, we kind of spun off into the eDart Foundation. So it was, it, when it first was built, it was powered by a gasoline engine, and in 2010, we converted it to a lithium ion battery pack. Awesome, and the best part about this is that I'm gonna try and drive this thing. <laughs> so uh, hang tight, uh, we're gonna put me in here and hopefully nobody's gonna get hurt, especially me. I just parallel parked a massive multi-legged machine uh, that was all electrically powered and, hy and hydraulically actuated. This was just one of the coolest experiences I've ever had in my life.